the Graz Group's Plural Literacies model. In this short video, we are going to explain a model developed in a project on literacies and CLIL sponsored by the European Centre of Modern Languages of the Council of Europe. The aim of this model is to make visible and clear the relation between content knowledge and linguistic skill in students' text production, both oral and written. As teachers, we are used to reading and evaluating texts produced by our students in the content subjects. We know when a text is good and when it isn't. However, when it comes to explaining to our learners why one text is less skillful than another, we can get into difficulties. Of course, there's the language used, which may be simpler or more complex, but this cannot account for the whole of the difference. We need to look at other elements in the text, such as the structure of the text, the way ideas are linked with each other, the extent to which the text manages to get a message across in a succinct way, and most importantly for the content teacher, the understanding of the concept the text deals with and which the student demonstrates through his text. There are then several dimensions that interact in ways that need to be understood. Since we are talking about texts produced in the content subjects, a good text requires from the writer a sound understanding of the concepts explained. As schooling progresses, our students' understanding develops on two dimensions. The understanding itself becomes more sophisticated and new and more complex concepts are added. In this way, we can say that learners' knowledge increases and deepens as they advance through schooling. It is important to be clear at this point that concept building requires more than simply knowing facts or understanding concepts. In order to understand and act like a scientist or a mathematician or geographer, as an expert in the field, learners have to develop the procedures, for example setting up an experiment, and strategies, for example careful observation of the experiment, of the subject discipline. However, as was said earlier, there is also a linguistic dimension to the knowledge expressed. Therefore, we need a second axis, a communicating continuum, that represents the way in which students communicate their understanding. Interestingly, greater skill in formulating knowledge doesn't only influence the way this knowledge and understanding is communicated, but actually leads to deeper understanding of the concept.